While we were marching near the canal, the Japanese tried to find our route. When we lie down, we cast no shadow. And from the sky, we're invisible, the same color as the dust. We had men with us from the Big Sword Battalion and also many machine guns. We were a good division, all young men, and we had officers who had fought the Japanese before. Field headquarters were set up near a barn. The plan of attack was to pretend to strike at the front but to hit hardest at the sides. General Sun directed us. He was a tireless man, placed in command here because he loved to attack. He was an old time general, a fighter all his life. He ordered emplacements of the light artillery. reporting by field telephone. Correction for battery number seven. Increase range to 2,000 yards. I think, said Sergeant Wong, we're learning to talk back to the Emperor of Japan. From the north, the wounded were returning. It is 40 miles to the base hospital. advanced in front, daring men climbed the stone hills near the mountain of the sacred tree. They went around the back of the mountain, and they planned to surprise the Japanese from behind. Our scouts watched from the mountain, very quiet. The Japanese patrol on the road, along the Japanese line of communication. They saw our men, but it was too late.
While this was happening, we advanced along the Grand Canal into the edge of the town. It was quiet now. Not much firing except far off at the right. A machine gun nest in our flank. It was left there to protect the enemy retreat. cover in the trenches used last night by the 31st Division. The squad of our men blew up the enemy nest. The way was clear. The division in front of us had occupied Tyre Schwung during the night. I saw the flag on the walls. We had taken back Tyre Schwung. We captured nine Japanese tanks. sunset, we fortified the gate against counterattack. Tai Chuang was ours. That was our victory, said Sergeant Wong.